Hi, my name is Markiplier, and this is everything I do in a day. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I live in Los Angeles, California. Every day is different for me because YouTube is different every day, but this is what I typically try to adhere to as far as the schedule goes. The first thing I do I when I open my eyes, I just wish I was still sleeping. I, I don't love sleep, but I enjoy sleep. My alarm it gives my girlfriend PTSD. It's the same alarm, it's Constellation, it's one of the Apple defaults. It is just so damn annoying, but it gets me out of bed. I, I have my alarm set for 6.30 every morning. I can get out of bed as early as like 6.45. That's pretty much the earliest that I'm out and up. Cause I try to wake up while I'm still laying down, keep my eyes open and stuff like that. I snooze all the time. I snooze all the time. I can waste 30 minutes just snoozing away. I'll check Reddit when I wake up to try to get some news in me. But uh, for the most part, I got work to do. So I just kind of get up and at them. So first thing I do in the morning is work out. 30 minutes of workout. It's real intense. Get it out of the way. I work out in my home. I got Sean T on my side. I do Insanity Beach Body workouts. Every morning it's Sean T screaming at me to do some jump thing, some push up to keep digging deep, but I'm just so tired that I don't want to, but I've done it for so long now that like this is a routine. I shower after my workout. I don't know, what's an average shower? Five minutes? I don't know. However long it takes to get the sweat off. I gotta get moving. So my dog Chica knows the routine. Uh, she comes out with me when I wake up. I let her out in the backyard and then she comes, lays down, waits for me to do my weird jumping movements. She'll just look at me and be like, oh, it's just dad being stupid, jumping all over the place. And then I'll go get a shower and then she knows it's walk time. So I take her and then my girlfriend's dog, Henry, and I take him out for a walk. We try to do mornings and evening walks. If we can't get an evening walk, I'll just do mornings, but um, maybe like 15 minutes, just around the block a little bit. Dog breakfast. It's breakfast time for the pups. I get them their food. I give them their multivitamin. I, I put a little bit of salmon oil in there. I've started doing that because I've heard it's good for them. So just a, a little drizzle of salmon oil. They like it. It's like gravy. Um, then my breakfast, uh, I don't know, usually eggs or something like that. I like to take my time with breakfast because it allows me time to think about what I need to do. I, I've been trying to keep track of my meals. So this is a new thing. I try to keep track of everything I eat uh, just to be conscious of it. I'm not trying to lose an incredible amount of weight. I just like being on top of things. Around eight o'clock is when my video goes up. Uh, so, you know, I can check comments on that. I can make sure that it went up okay. If there was a problem, I can go address it real quick. Um, but usually I get those done the night before, or I've started to anyway. I didn't used to do that. I used to wake up even earlier, get the video up for that day, that morning. I don't do that anymore. Very unhealthy. No. It's nine o'clock. That's when my team will start bothering me. I say team, I don't really work with them on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm talking about my manager, agent, assistant, uh, lawyers, all those people. YouTube is like my territory. I work, my editor works just to make the videos that go on YouTube. That's basically just me. My team is working on the deals for bigger projects, helping me coordinate a heist with Markiplier stuff. Uh, any, anything bigger than just YouTube, that's what they're dealing with. My inbox and, <laughs> and uh, text messages are reaching quadruple digits now. So no, I, uh, I'm very bad about that. I'm not a completionist when it comes to those kinds of things. Uh, I am all over the place. I'll sometimes decide I'm gonna clear out my whole inbox and then never do it again for the life of me. My assistant will message me saying like, hey, you forgot X, Y, Z. And of course I've forgotten X, Y, Z because I wasn't thinking about X, Y, Z. So I gotta get on top of that. That's usually my nine to 10 to 11, depending on if I have a meeting or a phone call that I need to do. Some days I'm live streaming with my friends. Some days I have recording sessions with my friends. Uh, if it's like Monday to Wednesday, usually that's recording time. 11 to about three or four o'clock is recording time. Like one video could take that entire block depending on what it is, or if I'm being efficient about it and I'm recording just game stuff, you know, I can get like three, four or five videos done. So long as I can get one video up a day, I'm happy. So by the time this is out, my second channel will have launched. <laughs> so I've been recording like crazy for that. Seven videos for one channel, seven videos for the other. Miscellaneous extra videos that I need to do for promos, brand deals, stuff like that. Uh, 14 or more a week. I, uh, I don't have a planning process. It's, it's very much just on the fly. When I sit down, say 11 o'clock to record, I'll do research and I'll be like, what indie game has come out? What cool thing do people wanna see? What do my friends wanna play if we're doing a group recording? To be perfectly honest, I don't play games on my own anymore um, just because I don't have time and uh, gaming is like less 
of what I do, less than half of the video content I record is about games. Maybe like a few hours a day. Yeah, something like that. I have an a7 III as my main camera, just because I think it looks really nice. It's a very easy camera to use. I like my lighting to be nice. I'm not an expert at lighting, but at least I would like to have some dynamic dynamicism to the lighting. My editor's in Portugal. His name's Lixian. Amazing. He might be one of the best editors on YouTube by far. He's an animator by trade. And so when I asked him to edit, I thought that would be like a downgrade because he's an artist in his own right, but he, he was so excited to do it and he's taken it to this new level. I make all the thumbnails. I, I take that as a point of pride. Uh, sometimes I'm not able to put as much effort or pizzazz in them as I, as I want to, but that's my nightly ritual is getting the video for the next day, doing the thumbnail, making sure all the metadata is done perfectly. I don't want to change it because uh, as my girlfriend knows, I'm a fiddler. Like I love tweaking things. It's why I'm always pushing to do different things on YouTube is because I can't do the same thing for long. When a heist with Markiplier came out, you know, I was just inspired to do it because we've done one of those before, uh, an interactive story. And uh, this one was intense. I wanted to do it bigger than I've done before. And I wanted to really impress uh, that I was gonna make one of the best YouTube originals possible. That was my goal, uh, not out of egotistical-ness-ness, but you know, I, I just wanted to make it the best I could be and I knew I could make something good. Those days were rough. Um, 12 to 14 hour days, you know, five days a week, and then I would have to go home, record a video, edit it, and upload it for my channel, which could take like two hours to four hours. Um, so really intense days, but you know, I loved it. I, I like those days when I'm just totally exhausted at the end of it. I like focusing all my attention on making something. Uh, I don't know, I just find it very fulfilling. It's unhealthy. Don't lose sleep. I watched a very scary documentary and presentation about losing sleep. It's deadly. Get your sleep. Very important. I procrastinate just the same as everybody else does. Um, like, I'm not immune to it. But I know that because I have such limited time, I can only do so much. I'll stop for like a meal break. I'll come downstairs just to grab a snack or something like that. I'll take 30 minutes here or there. But if it's like crunch time, then I have to but I think everyone's the same way. I try not to go past five. You can only keep up doing videos for so long. You can only like maintain that level of energy when the camera's on uh, for so long. Once, once five o'clock, I'm thinking about dinner. I like to cook. I just don't have the time for it. Uh, if, I, if I plan ahead, I can whip up a recipe, but a lot of my stuff is just like stick it in the oven for two hours and I don't have two hours to wait, so. If I go out, I know that it's gonna take too long, so I always try to get things ordered or I just whip up a quick meal. And, and when I say quick meal, I mean quick and dirty, like canned dinty more stew levels of meal. I love that kind of stuff. It's the stuff I grew up with. Um, but if I'm trying to eat a little better, I like order from say uh, Panini Kebab and Grill, like just get a nice kebab, salmon, green peppers, onions, some rice, nice salad. Uh, but that's a recent development. I Normally it's always crap. I'll tear through a block of cheese. It's perfect because I can bring it up to my desk. I can just chop it up and eat as I'm working. Like, it's disgusting. Let's say after dinner, it's about seven o'clock. If we're doing the evening walk, it would be then. And then it's following up with emails that I forgot. This is really hit or miss of whether I'm gonna respond or not. It just depends on if it's a project I'm really passionate about, if it's something that I know can wait. Even if they say it can't wait, I usually push it off for a little longer. This is where I would, you know, watch some TV with Amy, or not TV, but Netflix, watch some YouTube videos, maybe like spend an hour or two doing that. Like 8.30ish, I try to go for a run. I've been running up to an hour. I hate running. I hated running. Um, but then a little shout out to Nike Run Club. They made me at least be able to tolerate it. I don't run with Nike Run Club anymore. I run with uh, Zombies Run. So it's like this story where it's like randomly zombies can start chasing you when you're out on a run and it's dark and I only play spooky music. And so it's like really scary. So I'm just out in the middle of my neighborhood and it'll be like, ding, ding, warning, zombies detected. And I'm like, oh, shit, I gotta go. So, Around then I'll go back upstairs. I'll check what video uh, my editor has gotten me. Usually he has things before time and I'll know what I'm gonna upload. Sometimes I'm like, ooh, I hope there's a video up there or else I'm gonna have to edit it. So I'll upload it. I'll make a thumbnail. That'll take anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how finicky I wanna be with it. And then usually about 10.30, I'm coming down ready to go to bed. Um, do you wear pajamas? Nope. Undies. 
I don't know. Why would you wear pajamas in bed? If, unless it's like super cold that night, but I, I, it feels uncomfortable. I don't like things wrinkling all over me, so I don't need that. I'm assuming I toss and turn. I mean, usually I'm on my back or on my side. I think anyone would toss and turn if they're thinking about something or they're stressed about something, but usually uh, I'm pretty good about sleep. My girlfriend is actually pretty amazed because I have, I have the ability to sleep right away. Um, it's not a natural talent. It is a learned skill. You try to do nothing. It's a very backwards concept. And then you focus on that and then eventually you'll drift off. If I don't get a full seven, my workouts suffer, my videos suffer, everything suffers. So I gotta get that sleep. And then I get up and do it all over again the next day. And I don't take weekends, which I should. I'm Markiplier and that is everything that I do in a day.